So this one is the second log, like we discussed it on the previous video. But this one, not only did it burn, it's also so rotten. The sap is very, very uh, rotten. And so I have to clean it uh, step by step. I'll clean it, I'll try to clear it totally from the rotten uh, pieces. And that's what I'm left with. Created a cylinder and I will fill it up with, uh, with resin. For this project, few drops of orange, um, gold uh, yellow, gold bronze, and red gold goes inside. Mix, 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 and then we'll pour it and we'll let it stay for two days in a pressure pot. It came too velic because of the heat, I think, but um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, first, I'm going to do a cylinder, and after I'll do the cylinder, I'll make a decision. Uh, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, and of course, pr press the bell, so you know when I'm putting a new video. Okay, it's between two centers, but what I decided is to create a tenon um, on the other side, a, a large one, so it will be easier to control the vibration and then it will be quicker to work on it. So now you can see already uh, the shape and I started to do a, the cylinder with the round combine tools and it was cutting very nicely but you had to do it very slowly and a step by step and I decided later that what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to change it from a round uh, carbine tool uh, to a square one um, here it is and now I'm going to take step by step I'm going to cut it line by line it was much much easier um, of course I'm using the black line tools and this is the square carbine tool on the large on the medium size uh, set that they've got. They've got three sets, a medium, um, a large, and, and, and a mini, and I'm using the mini and the medium ones. To speed it up, instead of um, squaring it, at, and in the end, I decided I'll cut it out with a, with a parting tool, and uh, it will be quicker, it will be straight. Look how beautiful is the the, the grain of, of, of this wood. I took a photo of it and I left it and I've gone home and I looked at it and I decided that will be the shape that you saw now, the, the drawing that I have over there. I decided that's the shape that I'm going for and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm cutting with the, with the parting tool, I'm cutting a groove that will be the, I'm going all the way down to the size of the neck. Now I, I took the, the size on the, on, of the drawing and I, I done percentage the same way. So it will be identical to how they used to do those uh, potteries. Now I'm starting to shape the neck and the mouth and I'm going to shape, start shaping also um, the top side of the vase um, because the top and the bottom are in a different angles. I'm doing the same procedure on the, on, in the back. I'm going to measure it and I'm going to see that it's the right, the right size according to percentage and I'm going to create the stamp of this vase.
When I measured and I, and I cut it the way that it's supposed to be, I discovered that I don't have a lot of meat left in the end of it. So between the chuck and this one, there is like a thin disc over there. Now I'm going to put um, wood sealer and I'm mixing the wood sealer denatured alcohol. Now probably you're asking yourself, why is it pinkish or why is it bluish? So the funny thing is that the adding color here in South Africa to the denatured alcohol, um, so people can't drink it. So the local can't drink it. So that's why. I'm going to use pads, grids 120 all the way to 600, um, Wondershare uh, pads, and then I'm going to put um, Yorkshire grid, and after the Yorkshire grid, I'm going to put uh, BWEX. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create from an old piece of um, oak, I'm going to create a jump chuck that will fit into the, into the neck of the vase. And that's how I'm going to turn the other side. On the other side, the only thing that's left for me to do is just the base to cut off the, the leftover of the base and to drill a small hole for, the, for my logo and to put those two or three lines that I usually do. I had to go very slowly and step by step, otherwise it's going to uh, jam inside or scratch it inside so very slowly very carefully The same grid, 120 all the way to 600, and the same Yorkshire grid. On the base, I'm not going to put um, uh, B wax. I'm just going to clean it up, and now I'm going to put my logo. I hope that you like this project, uh, and you like that I saved this piece of wood, and the colors that I chose for um, this uh, vase. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put remarks at the bottom. A good one, bad ones, ideas, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week.